Welcome back everyone to our lesson on pesticide calculations. I've prepared two more examples here and let's get started with question number one. The question reads, the label on a granular pesticide calls for an application rate of 0 0.75 pounds of AI per 1,000 square feet. AI represents active ingredient. And the first question asks, how many pounds of active ingredient would you need to treat an area that measures 125 feet long by 90 feet wide? So here we're making an assumption that it is a rectangle. And we're told that we must feed any lawn 0 0.75 pounds AI per 1,000 square feet. This is the recommended amount, the rate. And over here, however, we have a lawn whose dimensions are given. So we'll use the formula for area of a rectangle to find out the area of this land. We take the length of 125 and multiply it to 90. So let's use our calculator and our units should be in feet squared. 125 times 90, that makes 11,250 square feet. We have the rate and we want to find out how many pounds of active ingredient. So what we'll do from here is create a proportion such that I'll write down another ratio next to this one where I will fill in the bottom, which represents the area. And the top is how much active ingredient we need. Just like how we did in the other examples that I showed for the pesticide calculations, we cross multiply to find for x. So that's our unknown, it represents how much AI we need. We'll multiply 1000 times x, and we'll ignore the units for now. So 1000 times x is simply 1000 x. And then we cross multiply again. So we'll take that amount and multiply it to 0 0.75. You can use your calculator for this. So 11250 multiply to decimal 75. And we end up with an output of 8437.5. You never want to round midway through your calculation. You always want to keep as many digits as possible. And finally, to solve for x, we apply the algebraic technique of dividing both sides by that number, so we isolate for x. So by dividing both sides by 1,000, we'll end up getting what x is. So the number on our screen divided by 1,000 makes 8.437. Seven five, and that's pounds of active ingredient. At this point you can round and it is best to round to two decimal places given that this extends to two decimal places. So you should have an answer that is 8.44 pounds AI. Now let's move on to question B. How much of a 25G product, would you need to provide the amount of active ingredient needed to treat the entire area? So here G represents the pesticide formulation and its granules. And this should be treated as a percentage. So whatever amount of product you have, your base value, whatever amount that is, when you multiply it to 25%, you will get the portion of the product that is strictly active ingredient. So the portion here represents the amount of active ingredient you'll get. So this 25 represents the percentage of active ingredient of a product. So they're asking how much of a product do we need to get this many pounds of AI? So what we'll do is replace this portion amount with 8.44 because that's the amount of active ingredient that we want. 8.44 and you're also more than welcome to use this if in the case that this was one long question as opposed to being two parts you're more than welcome to use that but for the sake of simplicity I'll just leave it as 8.44 and I'll ignore the units for now and again using the same algebraic technique as before to isolate for B we will divide both sides by that factor 
and we will end up with B, which represents the amount of product. So 8.44 divided by 0.25 gives us around 33.76 pounds of product are needed. So you'll go to the store, and if it's rated at 25G, the package is, let's say, 33.76 pounds, then you'll be getting 8.44 pounds of active ingredient, which is what does all the work, in this case, being a pesticide. With that being said, let's move on now to question number two. How many pounds of a 75S product are needed to supply 15 pounds of active ingredient? So just as before, this question is a lot simpler than the previous one. We are told that we want 15 pounds of active ingredient, and we'll use the formula BR is equal to P, where B represents the base amount. And that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for the base amount of product at a rate of 75% that will give us a portion of 15 pounds. It's always best to buy a more concentrated product because if it's less concentrated, it means more filler. So B is what we're looking for. The rate is 75 and S represents the soluble powder. That's 75%, right? Just divide that by 100%. You should end up with the decimal equivalent. So we take 0 0.75, multiply it to B, and we know the amount of portion we want, which is 15 pounds of AI. We divide both sides by 0 0.75, and this will give us exactly what we're looking for, which is the amount of product. So we'll take 15, divided by 0 0.75, and we end up with 20 pounds of product. Of this 20 pounds, 15 pounds of it is active ingredient, the rest is filler. If you have any further questions, please use the write-up in the description below. It contains a reference to all these examples plus their solutions, or otherwise use the comment section below.